Hello Earthlings, Orson Galore here. Poptugi is nice enough to let me upload this tutorial to his channel to demonstrate my new camera management add-on for Moho slash Anime Studio. The goal here is really to be able to edit in camera, that is within Moho itself without having to go over to, uh, you know, um, I use Premiere, but whatever editing program you use. And the problem is that juggling multiple views within Moho can be really cumbersome. Let me give you a, a quick example of what I'm talking about. Here we have uh, some of the sets for a cartoon that uh, I'm uploading to YouTube tomorrow called The World's Greatest Poker Hand. Now if you've ever seen televised poker, you know it can be a little dull because it's essentially just two people staring at each other. So they jazz it up with a lot of different cam camera angles, which I wanted to simulate here. So say for example, we'll start off, uh, let me just zoom okay so we'll start off on a kind of a, a medium shot of the two fellows looking at each other and I'm just gonna click on frame one just to kinda capture where that is I'll capture that too so then say after a second or so I want to cut to a close-up of this dude in the red hat so first I've gotta copy my points and, and this is the hard way, the tool I'm going to show you in a minute makes this a lot easier, but first let me show you what problem I'm solving. So I'm going to paste those frames at frame 23 and then I'm going to zoom in on Red-Headed Boy. So it looks like this, cut to, and then I'm going to save the location of the uh, the tracking and the zooming there and in the next shot I'm gonna cut over to these people whoops uh, we'll cut to them And then after a little while, cut back to this guy by copy and pasting these keyframes. So just over the course of a, a minute or so, I managed to get like a few seconds of all the different cuts that I need. And when you start factoring in like being able to zoom in uh, for tight close-ups on people and even two other sets like for example I have the um, the card table here it can get really really tiresome so instead of that what I did was I put together this tool that you can use and you can download this from pop patreon account it'll be up there for the for the next while like a month or so uh, for a reward and after that you can get it at orsongalore.com so with this the, uh, I can set a variety of camera angles and then just cut or pan to them with the click of a button not have to worry about keyframes at all so once you click the little icon here the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new data file that manages these camera positions so I'm just going to click new and I'm just going to call it poker.camdata you can call it whatever you want you can save it wherever you want and the nice thing about these files is they're independent of the moho file so you can load different camera data files into any moho file and i can reuse this cam uh, this uh, camera data file in another moho file so if you build your sets kind of the same way from file to file you'll save yourself even more work you'll notice there's an, an auto new button there if I do that, if I click Auto New, it'll just automatically create a uh, data file with the same name as the Moho file in the same directory as the Moho file. 
Okay, so you'll see poker.cam data is shown up there, so I know we're good to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set some camera positions. So the first one, let's set um, just this medium shot here. So let's just zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so the radio button up here is click to set. And I'm going to click one to set that camera position. Now I'm going to zoom in. Guy, camera manager, set camera position two. And while we're at it, camera manager, set camera position three. And while we're at it, let's set a couple more. Set one on these folks. And let's set one over here too. Camera manager. Okay, so I'm just going to save my work. All right, so now I'm going to choose insert. And you'll notice you got a little um, checkbox here where you can choose either to cut to or to pan to. So in this case, I'm going to, I'm on frame one and I'm going to cut to view one. And then on frame 24, I'm going to pan to view three. And then on frame 48 I'm going to cut to now let's cut to the broadcasters and then we'll cut to the flop of cards and then we'll cut back to a medium shot of the two of them and finally let's pan in for a close up on the guy in the red hat so as you can see, but it's just kind of scrubbing through it. One, we pan in on that guy. We cut to them. Cut to the cards. Cut to that guy. And we zoom in. Now say, for example, on this first one, I decide, you know, I don't like that pan. I just want to cut. So you can just go and overwrite your keyframes. And so when you're dealing with like anything that requires multiple angles or like I like to do having multiple sets within a single Moho file, uh, I think you'll agree that this can save you a lot, a lot of time. Anyway, I hope you liked this. Uh, like I say, you can download this at uh, Poptugi's Patreon account. The way to install it, by the way, is just under Edit Preferences in Moho you'll see there's a custom content folder in that once you download the zip file it has two files in it a PNG file which is the icon and a .lua file which is the program itself so you just want to put those two files in wherever your custom content folder is forward slash scripts forward slash tool you just drop them in there and then you don't even have to leave Moho to do it. You just Alt, Control, Shift, and L at the same time. And Moho will refresh all your scripts. And you'll find that icon up there. And it'll be all easy for you. So thanks for watching. I'm Orson Galore. Uh, please feel free to check out my channel on YouTube. This World's Greatest Poker Match cartoon is going to be up there. I think it's okay. I hope you like it. And we're, we have a lot of cartoons going up over the next few months. So um, we're looking for subscribers. We're a new channel, and we're hoping to get the word out. So thanks again to Pop Tugi for uh, letting me a uh, guest on his channel. And I'm looking forward to seeing, you, uh, seeing and hearing from you folks soon. All right, ciao.